good morning. Let's open in prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, we come to you this hour asking you for your blessing and help as we gather together. We pray for your guidance every day. Amen. Hi. Um, okay, so let's start. Our first reading uh, comes from John 14, verse 15 to 17. Jesus promises the Holy Spirit. If you love me, you will obey what I command, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. As well as John 14, verses 25 to 28. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You heard me say, I am going away and I am coming back to you. If you loved me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. Our second reading um, this morning comes from 1 Corinthians 12 verse 8 to 10. To one there is given through the Spirit the message of wisdom, to another the message of knowledge by means of the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by that one Spirit, to another miraculous powers, to another prophecy, to another distinguishing between spirits, to another speaking in different kinds of tongues, and still another the interpretation of, of tongues. Thanks be to God. Okay, so who can um, see air? Obviously we can't. Uh, if you blow in your hand, um, you can certainly feel air. So you can't always see air, but you can definitely feel it. Like um, this ball. The ball with air is much more fun, much more useful than, say, the ball without. Um, so the Holy Spirit is like air. We can't see it, but we can definitely feel what it does. Let me read you a story. There once was two children, a boy and a girl, whose parents were going out of town for the night. Thankfully, the gr grandfather lived nearby, so they asked him to take care of the children while they were gone. Before the parents left, they told their children to be good, obey their rules, and to make sure they cleaned their rooms before they returned home. Well, as soon as the parents left, the children wanted to go outside and play. But the grandfather reminded them that they weren't allowed to play outside at night. But don't worry, I have planned some really fun things to do indoors, the grandfather said with a smile. After a while, the kids asked for a snack. I have just the thing. We will make s'mores and eat them before dinner. And they did just that. It was now getting late and the children wanted to stay up and watch TV. But the grandfather reminded them that they were told to clean their rooms before their parents got home. We're too tired, Grandpa. We will do it in the morning, they said. But the grandfather said, Nope, you must obey your parents, but don't worry, I will help you clean up. And in no time, with their grand grandfather's help, their rooms were cleaned and they got ready for bed. As soon as the grandfather tucked them in, he reminded them of their parents' love and told them he had something extra special planned for tomorrow. Then kissed them goodnight. As the children drifted off to sleep, there was a loud bang outside the window. As you can imagine, it scared them off to death. The grandfather heard the noise and came to check. It's only the neighbor's cat. Don't be afraid. He kissed the children goodnight and tucked them in again. And soon they were dreaming of tomorrow's adventure with Grandpa. So this story teaches us that Jesus sent us a helper, the Holy Spirit, to help us to obey God while he is away. We are never alone. Let us close in prayer. Lord, thank you for healing so many. Please heal those who are ill and suffering. I ask this in your name. Amen. This light of mine.